happy happy christmas everyone merry holidays i hope you're having an amazing time and greetings from the sunny and gorgeous benidum town in costa blanca in spain obviously today as you can see by the title is christmas day it's 25th of december and we'll show you what the atmosphere here is like on one of the most important festive days of the year let's go we start today's video right where we have to in the mecca of the international tourism Rincon de Luige. As you can see on our left side, this is where just a couple of hotels are located, the Benidorm Palace, the Hotel Mediterraneo, the Hotel de Luige, and some campsites. There are quite a few people out there, but not too much. All the vast majority of tourists are concentrated out here, starting from the Hotel Levante Club and Spa. There's Christmas music in a lot of these places. They're all decorated for Christmas, for New Year, and it's actually very, very nice. Spanish do celebrate it as well, obviously. There are three important celebrations in December slash January months here in Benidorm and Spain as it is. English breakfast, look at this. Big one, medium and small. Vegetarian option. That's actually not bad at all. In some places we did see a big English breakfast for like 10 euros. That was a huge amount of money. Here it's 650, so it's not as bad. So there are three main celebrations, which is Christmas Eve and Christmas Day, which is what we have right now. I can see people in uh, Santa's hats. <laughs> this is so fun. Let's go to the other side because the Flamingo Oasis has some nice decorations and I really, really want to show it to you guys because these are spectacular. So the Christmas Eve and Christmas Day are one of the main celebrations. Then afterwards, we have a new year, which is 31st. Christmas is a family celebration, it's a family tradition, so people do not tend to go out as much unless it's for a nice Christmas meal. There we go. Okay, this is like a little Santa's village. And in the evening, it has all the lights out here by the house. and People tend to come here to do some nice pictures. The Santa sleigh. This is lovely, look at that. I think from here we can have a better side. And this is like a small road where you can pass towards the hotel. There's a tiny Santa's cabin. This is so Christmas, I love it, I actually love it. Ooh, this is Christmas spirit. These are Christmas decorations. And inside, obviously it's decorated slightly more so christmas day christmas eve are family celebrations new year is a celebration to be with the family or with friends it's more informal one a lot of people go outside to celebrate especially us when we have a lovely concert in benidorm on the levante beach from 11 p.m every single year there's people departing already some people are leaving for new year others are still staying here, especially on the campsites. Right in front of us, we have the brand new future. Brand new, let's go slightly quicker, there's a lot of cars. Brand new Lidl supermarket. Let me show it to you somehow from here so you would see what it's looking like. Right now, it's just a big hole in the ground, but in 2024, this is going to be a Lidl. Are you ready? There we go. This is what it looks like right now. But after the holidays, they will finish it hopefully very, very soon. And there's going to be a brand new Lidl with a parking spot on this very place. So there will be an amazing supermarket, low cost supermarket here in the region, which is very much needed, especially for those who are coming on self catering. Oh, the Melia Hotel. Oh, that's lovely. There's not a lot of cars. We can just pass very, very quick through the pedestrian area. Melia Hotel as well. The terrace is lovely. Everyone are having like Christmas songs right now, enjoying some drinks. Typical Spanish breakfast or international breakfast. Why not? Everything is suitable. Wearing their Christmas hats. This is actually very, very fun. We've seen a lot of people in... Um, Christmas outfits and different, even Christmas dresses, like all the Santa Claus costumes and all that. 
uh, with different kind of Christmassy ornaments to celebrate this lovely day. And it couldn't be better with the weather that we have right now. Look at this. The sun is shining as if it would be spring, summer. And it's nice. It's warm. It's actually very, very warm. We can go with a sweater and that's basically it. We've seen people wearing summer dresses and shorts and slippers. Oh, there's some entertainment in the Melia Hotel coming up. Look at the sea. Christmas decorations, told you so. This is something very, very fun. A lot of people love to do. And this is the true Christmas spirit. You know, this is what this is what it's all about at the end. This is a nice atmosphere. People celebrating, people having fun. A lot of the businesses are closed today. Some of them will be opening up probably sometime this day. But others are closed. It's a bank holiday. Oh, there's a lot of broken glasses right here by the red lion. Red lion number two. Remember, we have two red lions. We have one that's on the British street and then we have another one that's right here on the roundabout. Those businesses that did decide to open today actually are having a blast. There's a lot of people in them enjoying some nice Christmassy drinks. For example, right here we have the food party and sports. This is like a sun terrace, it's called. Some nice music, not a Christmassy music though, but still, it's something. Pizzas for $8.90, large, see that's large breakfast, $6.95, and then XX large, like double large, extra large breakfast, $9.95. That's what we've seen, 10 euros price. That's like a really, really big breakfast, I suppose. It's midday, by the way. It's not a breakfast time anymore. We've waited for midday to show it to you guys because we knew that first thing in the morning, there's not going to be literally anyone out here. So we decided 12 a.m. is the best time to show you what it's looking like. Oh, look at this. In this area, a lot more places are actually open. The quick save, the British supermarket. They call it a British supermarket, but... It's just a supermarket. They have some magnets out here too. 150, that's not a bad price. These are some nice magnets, by the way. Very nice magnets. 150, that's actually a very, very good deal. And they have prices on them, which is spot on. That's, that's good. That's what we are looking for out here. Shoe shops. Ooh, the bus. See, this is the bus number 10. See, this one, this one is red and white one. That's what we've let you know previously, that buses here are of two colors, white and blue and red and white. Um, usually people are used to see blue and white only because that's how they were before. The famous Gemelos 22 building for these two huge towers. They've been owned by the company now and there's a lot of, um, of short-term touristic rentals out there. There's still some properties as it is, but the vast majority of them are short term. These are some Chinese shops as well. I think that's some nice themed things out here. Look at this, some shot glasses from Benny Dorm. Have some snow coats, snow globe with some flamenco dancers, the sea. These ones are actually very nice and they're quite cheap, 550. These are good prices. Five fifty for this for these type of cups. It's very very good. This is recommended actually. Definitely this one. Yes, some big spoons. A lot of souvenirs in here. Prices are not bad at all. Look at this, the Union Jack. Oh my goodness, it is busy today. It's so sunny, nice and warm. A lot of people choose terraces right now. Barely anyone are just sitting. Um, uh, inside of the buildings everyone are coming here on the outside two cocktails for 10 euros that's not a bad price that's good first ambulance of the day we see with you here on the screen but not the first one we actually see we've been in Benidorm since 9 a.m in the morning and we've seen at least five or six of them running about and around the dynastic hotel some modern christmas trees some decorations of belen which are these ones right there by the way 
in even in dynastic even in gala placidia you know my hubby works in gala placidia which is here slightly further up the hill we have some of these subscribers there uh did not get the name sorry but is it steve or something like this i'm, I'm really sorry if i didn't get it right but if you are there we know we know you're there in the in the hotel having some lovely holidays so i hope you had a nice Christmas Eve and Christmas Day and hotels are actually full right now there's at least 200 people in the small hotel La Gala Placidia and all the rest are around 80 90 percent of occupancy which is actually shocking isn't it but it's it's great I mean you can tell usually Christmas days are not as busy but there we are Monday Christmas Day bank holiday and Rincon de Loich is actually very, very full. There's a lot of people walking about and around, and I miss having some Christmas decoration on me. We should have brought something Christmassy with us too. My daughter has one, so that's all right. But I don't, and it's a shame because I see so many people with it. It's like on Halloween. When you go film something for you guys, we usually film a lot of different events as much as we can for you here on the channel. And that's not going to change towards 2024. Even more, I'm going to say, we'll be having a brand new way of filming coming up very, very soon. And we'll be having a lot of new ideas here on the channel towards the brand new tourism season 2024. So I hope you're ready. Subscribe if you still did not do so, so that you wouldn't miss any new videos here on the channel. We're walking right now, right next to the shopping center, the indoor market, but it's closed. Obviously, it's not usually open on bank holidays. They have very strict schedule by law. But starting from tomorrow, it will be. We have complete, look at this. It's like Santa's hat with ears. We have a lot, 2024. That's lovely. Look at this. That's nice. You can get a lot of Christmassy accessories here in Benidorm if you want, right before the celebration. If you will be here on the New Year's Eve, make sure you go to the Levante Beach. It's right next to the um, two, one of the oldest nightclubs, which is Penelope Beach and the KM Beach parts. And that's where they put a big scene. That's where, oh, look at this one bureau of Christmas decorations. That's very nice. That's where people are getting these from, probably. Christmas, Christmas, festive days. You can actually feel the Christmas spirit here. That's that's insane. Even with the sunshine, even with this nice weather, um, hot weather, I would say. It's around 18 degrees probably right now on the sunshine, maybe even slightly more. And it's midday. Oh, look at the Hotel Nereo. They've put some lovely flowers out there. I'm going to try and zoom it in for you. Look at this. They've added up some Christmas flowers. That's lovely. That's gorgeous. So that's where they're going to put a big scene. There's going to be a concert with a DJ, with entertainment. They're going to give some accessories as well for like New Year's celebration, some confetti, etc. And at 11 p.m. there's going to be a concert. Afterwards, everyone will be right there by the beach. There's going to be a big firework display with a brand new company that we got just last year. So they're actually making their best to make every show unforgettable. So actually worth seeing if you will be here in Benidorm on New Year. Look at this. That's insane. How many Christmas decorations we can actually see here? Oh, we're heading towards the Levante Beach. See what's happening there, because obviously if Rincon Deloitte is that busy, the Levante Beach will be epic today. There's a lot, a lot of people. Wow. And tomorrow, tomorrow is a Boxing Day. It's something that's not actually celebrated right here in, uh, in Spain as it is. It is celebrated, I know, in some other countries, especially like England, Ireland, maybe Scotland. Let us know, please. But here it's not celebrated at all. It's just a usual day, it's a typical day post Christmas and see Christmas music around. That's so lovely. That's a very, very nice and positive atmosphere here. 
and people here don't usually celebrate it um it's just a typical even work day people get back to work and that's basically it. what is happening what is this oh my god they're just helping her with a scooter look at this that's insane probably the battery just died <clears throat> my goodness I mean, technically, the man wasn't wrong, especially with this type of ability scooter. So he ain't wrong. But I mean, it's Christmas. Hey, it's all right. You shouldn't be reacting like this. It's Christmas Day. They're struggling. So there's nothing wrong in that either. Let's go to the Levant Beach. Some more Christmas decorations out there. Ooh, people are celebrating. Just seen one of our subscribers that was really, really lovely meeting you. He said he's going to be checking out today's video. So hi, if you're watching it back again. Hope you're having some lovely days in the sunny Christmas. And he actually said that Levante Beach is packed. So let's go check out if it's actually the case. Let's go. I'm even intrigued. Right here by the beach, all the shops are open. Look at this. Obviously, Chinese shops, they never miss it. And, ooh, I get you now. Okay, all right. Yes, it is busy. Look at that. This is gorgeous. People are taking some pictures by the Christmas tree. All the Christmas decorations, by the way, will be here up until around 6th or 7th of, the, of uh, January. That's the last day. After the Three Kings Day, they will start to pick up all the decorations they will take down all the christmas lights so that's the key date for you if you want to check on some of those look at this it's really busy cars are just going non-stop wow let's go towards the end of the levante beach because from there we can actually see what the overall full atmosphere is like even in mcdonald's there's a lot of people my goodness look at this this is insane hey what happened to the beach oh there's a lot of algae all right just seen something at the end of it and i thought something happened to it but no it's just algae like all the seaweed look at this this is the rikas for example rikas beach bar is packed my god it definitely feels like a bank holiday isn't it everything is absolutely packed i actually call this place like a buddha place because it has a giant buddha head on top of it but i'm quite sure it has a different name look at this people are just sitting on the sunshine enjoying the day that's the whole spirit you know i've seen a comment um well, or below one of the videos i'm not sure if it was the beach walk the poniente beach walk or the the like sunny walk in Benito. I'm not too sure in one of the latest videos. You can try and find it out if you wish. Uh, but we've seen one of the comments that was basically saying that Benito is like a rubbish town. It's a very d dangerous place to be. You know, you call it a dangerous place to be. This. All right, this one. You call it a dangerous place to be. Look at this. Just look at it for a second. This is a dangerous place to be. I'm quite sure they're just going to wrong places you know sometimes it happens a lot people are just heading just let's just stay here for a minute right people are just um, going to wrong places you know they visit maybe like nightclub areas like the British strip the British square they go somewhere that it's not the best places to go and they don't even know other places do exist incredible amazing places here in Benidorm look at this you just need to know where to go and that's the whole purpose of our channel to show you that Benidorm is way more than that. Obviously way more people know it already, way more people cherish Benidorm and they love Benidorm and they've seen new places that they didn't know existed before, which is great. But others still do think that um, it's not the best place to come. I mean, everyone has their right to have different opinions, to say what they want to say, you know, but when it's a shame when people think it's dangerous it's unsafe it's a, a rubbish like garbage place to go when they didn't actually see anything of it which is why i think it's important for us to share all these videos if you know someone 
that thinks this, if you know someone that's not too sure about Benidorm, show them our videos. Let them know what Benidorm has to offer and maybe they will be a Benidorm lover too after they see all our videos here on the channel. Look at this. People are wearing Christmas hats and just sunbathing. This is, this is what Benidorm is all about. Look at that. That's gorgeous, isn't it? There is no issues. There is no, uh, no drama. There is no nothing. There's just people sitting down at the terraces with their Christmas outfits for some nice music, some lovely drinks, and that's basically it. This is what Benidorm is all about. Everyone are together having some lovely time. People are playing some sports. Look at this. Just walking bare feet, enjoying the sunshine. Trying to swim. There's quite a few people in the sea, I must say. It's all clean and tidy. Even though it was Christmas Eve yesterday, people went out. I've seen some parts of Benidorm that did have bottles um, around them that wasn't as clean because they didn't get time to clean it just yet. But other places like here, look at that. That's gorgeous. That's all clean and tidy. It's an incredible place to be. Look at that. And terraces are absolutely full. Roman cafeteria and restaurant place, for example. We visited it once. I think it was last spring or last autumn. I can't really remember. I think it was last spring. We had a lovely meal out there and it is spectacular, especially after the refurbishment for that. People seem to actually love it, which is the best indicator that it's a good place to go. This is gorgeous. It is really busy. Our subscribers were right. It is really busy out here, but it's nice. It's not too much. You know, it's just a great holiday atmosphere that Benidorm deserves, that everyone deserves that are coming here to the area. It's a gorgeous place to be. There's a green flag. Oh, there is still lifeguard. Look at that. See, even though it's not like swimming season just yet, but since it's very, very warm, since there's a lot of people, it's for the first time in years, I think, since I remember that there's a lifeguard in December, end of December, like basically New Year. Christmas hats. Some more Christmas hats spotted. There's a lifeguard actually, just in case, because there are some people swimming. There's barely any waves at all. People are enjoying the lovely walk down the Levante Beach. This is ideal Christmas day, isn't it? This is how the ideal Christmas day would potentially go. Nice sunny weather. A lot of people walking around, enjoying the sunshine. Every single bench is occupied, if you see. Everyone are seeking for quality holidays in town. And a lot of Christmas sweaters, too. We actually have the exact same ones. So it's very fun. There's the Benidorm Palace car passing by. Before, they used to have some dancers inside, like with costumes. It was nicer. Look at this. All Christmas decorations. Everything Christmassy. I love it. Absolutely love Benidorm. <laughs> because of that, because of its spirit, you know, with, with all the decorations. That's the Christmas spirit. That's what we actually need <laughs> here in Benidorm. And absolutely love it. Either it's Halloween or it's Christmas or it's St. Patrick's Day or it's any other holiday. That's what it looks like. And it's actually very, very nice. Another Benidorm Palace car passing by with some music. People are having fun. And it's just a gorgeous place to be. Look at this. Sunny, nice, warm atmosphere in our favorite town of all in Costa Blanca. Benidorm. I hope you enjoyed watching today's video on Christmas Day, 25th of December. We are on the gorgeous Levant Beach with sun shining on us, getting some lovely vitamin D, some 
maybe a winter tan why not because the sun is still shining quite hard people are enjoying its day on the beach grabbing some nice favorite meals and just having a lot of fun this is what christmas day is all about in benidorm everyone's celebrating having a great mood and enjoying themselves on one of the most important celebrations of the year especially in december thank you for accompanying us on today's lovely walk down benidorm on christmas i wish you a lovely lovely day and we'll see each other tomorrow in a brand new video here on the channel which will be the news update since we swapped it with today's video so don't miss it the latest news from benidorm what's happening with the 90 days rule what's new in benidorm the future events and a lot more you can discover it here on the channel bye geez.